Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Eric Parker with One Number, Tableau, Education and Consulting Experts. And in this week's video, I wanna cover how to add an info button to a Tableau dashboard. Um, let me give you a quick example of what I'm talking about and then talk about what it could be used for. Um, this is the dashboard I put together um, for a friend of mine who plays baseball a few years ago. I, he didn't ask me to, I just did it because I was had free time and I thought it was interesting. Uh, and so there's an info button here that talks about where did this data come from? When did I pull this data? What are some of these different baseball definitions, right? So when I think about info buttons, some of the things that I think that you might wanna put in those would be things like, you know, like what is your data source, where did it come from? You know, refresh date, uh, contact info maybe for you, data definitions, you know, there's like a whole lot of things any sort of like security or like data messages. You know, those are all the kinds of things that you may want to pack into an info button. So how do you add something like this to a dashboard, right? All right, so I've just got the Seattle rainfall tracker. It's just something I've been working on in my free time because 2022 Seattle is experiencing some historic cold and rainfalls, which is saying something for our area. Um, so I've been pulling this data from NOAA. They've act I've actually been submitting it. They've been sending it to me. So Let's say I want to put a little info button in the top left corner that just recognizes where this data has come from. How do I do that? Okay, so actually, the best way to do this, in my opinion, the most flexible way for you is to uh, create a new worksheet that's going to be the info button. All right, so I'll call this info. And I usually use a calculated field for this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and create a new calculated field. The name will be one, and it's just going to have the number one in the calculation. Actually, maybe even this, even better, just the maximum of one. So what are we doing here? We're basically just creating a placeholder calculation, which is going to create a shape, which is gonna be the info button, all right? So I hit okay. I'm gonna change my mark type from automatic to shape. And I'm just gonna put this new calculation one on shape. So Tableau gives me a circle. All right, so I'm gonna set my worksheet fit to entire view, and now I've got a big circle. <laughs> All right, so unfortunately, Tableau doesn't have a built-in info button shape. I think the closest thing that I've found in kind of messing around has been, there's like a light bulb in bug tracking. So you won't have all these shape palettes because some of these are custom ones that I've created. But if I went to bug tracking, I could click on this circle, click on the light bulb, hit okay, <laughs> it is grainy, it's not beautiful, um, but we have a light bulb. So let me leave the light bulb for a second. I'll come back in a moment and tell you how you get an actual info button. So now I would, anything that I want to show up when you hover over it is going to be edited and added in the tooltip tab in the marks card. So if I select tooltip, I could say, you know, like data source, you know, and then something like, you know, data comes from NOAA, uh, refresh date. I don't remember when I refreshed this, I think on Friday and today is a Tuesday. So how many days back is that? Let's just say like 527, 2022, um, questions. I'm just gonna tab this over, put my email address in there. All right, so it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm probably getting too nitpicky about this. I'm just gonna make all this text dark and bold so that, because this is the information I want to pop out. You know, maybe I wanna add some data definitions. Hey, what does this measure of precipitation mean? How does that compare to this other one? But I'm trying to keep this simple for the sake of the video. So you can see now as I hover over that light bulb, boom, you get this info. So let me go to back to the dashboard and we're gonna get this info and hover it in the left corner. So it could be, I guess I should say this, you could float it or you can tile it. It's really up to you. Um, I'm gonna float it just for the sake of simplicity, but depending on how, if your dashboard's automatic and if it's resizing, you may wanna tile this so that the info doesn't, button doesn't end up tiny or huge or out of place. All right, so I'm gonna float the info button. Uh, just click this floating tab down here. So I'll float this in the top left corner. Mm. So let me go ahead and kind of resize it so it fits better. It brings in a little shape legend. See this little guy? So I don't get rid of that. Uh, this title is kind of messing things up. So I'm gonna right click on the worksheet title, say hide title. So now here is my info button, it's a light bulb. Um, there's a couple of kind of funny things about it. First of all, it's really tiny. So what you might need to do is go back to the worksheet 
and just tinker with the size slider a little bit. So if you click on size in the worksheet, drag that size slider to the right, should fill out the space. Uh, notice that there's like a white background. That might be fine if your title is white, but if it's not, you want to make the background of the worksheet transparent. So I actually think that's probably easiest to do from within the worksheet itself. So I go back here, right click in the background, format. I'm going to hit the little paint, um, a little paint icon at the top and set worksheet to none. Looks no different here, but it should look different there. All right, so I think we are in the place where it is time to talk about how do we go from a light bulb to an actual info button, okay? So I just Googled info button PNG. Um, I think PNG is portable network graphic. Basically, the important thing to know about a PNG type um, image is that it very likely has a transparent background. So when I'm looking for an icon, like let's say this one here, if I click on it, what I'm hoping to see is actually, I don't like what I see here. It's just a solid white background. If I click on this one from flat icon, flat icon, those are good people. Um, you can see there's kind of these gray tilings in the background. Now, some people have things that look like that, but are actually like solid slashes. You might have to do a little trial and error. Um, I'll link up this flat icon um, image in the description so that if you just want to use this one, you can. So let me go ahead and right click and save this image. So let's say save image as, and then this is really important. Where do I want this to go? You want this to go in a folder in my Tableau repository. What am I talking about? So you want to go to the documents folder on your computer. There's something called my Tableau repository, which automatically is a folder, um, which downloads when you download the Tableau desktop product. You want to go to the shapes folder. And then you may need to create a new folder. You could probably also just throw it in an existing folder. So I'll just go ahead and right click. I'll just do a new folder here. I'll just call this info buttons. And I'll just call this our flat icon info. So now from the Tableau side, I go back to the info uh, worksheet. I'm gonna go to the shape tab in the marks card. And right now, the info buttons folder I just created, it's not here yet, it would show up after healthcare. What I need to do is to reload shapes. Just click that. And now I go here and you can see I've got an info buttons folder. So click on the light bulb, click on the info button, hit okay. We are so, so close to being there. Now my only problem is I've got a black info button on like a, basically a black background. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get a copy of this field one. I'm just going to control drag this to color and it turned blue. So I'm going to go ahead and edit colors, double click on the blue square, set it to white. So now I can't see it here, but back in my dashboard, it is looking good, right? So you can hover over that, see what everything's all about. So anything you need to make as an update to it, you just go back to the info button, click on tooltip again, and you can update the text there. So that is my go-to move for adding an info button to a Tableau dashboard. I hope that's been helpful for you. If you have any further questions about how all this works or if there's some customization that you need, um, feel free to comment and I will get through those and happy to be able to help you out. So thank you for following along with this one number Tableau tutorial. Uh, we're grateful for you and we look forward to catching you on another video here next week. Thanks guys.